Yo, what's up everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to discuss something with you that I was thinking about all day yesterday, obviously after the Christmas Day game. Is Kyrie Irving the clutchest player in the NBA? Now, let's be real. The Christmas Day game will be one of the best games that we'll see all year. We saw Richard Jefferson's crazy dunks. He turned back the clock and it's crazy to think that he's 36 years old. We saw Kevin Durant almost carry the whole Warriors team to victory because of poor performances from Steph Curry and Draymond Green. We saw LeBron James finally shoot over 50% from three, and we saw him control the whole entire tempo of the game. We saw the Cleveland Cavaliers come back from a deficit without J.R. Smith, who they normally go to as a source to light a spark. We saw the Warriors blow a 14 point lead in the fourth quarter, and we saw Kyrie Irving being clutch once again. We saw him hit bucket after bucket, and get steal after steal, and he sealed the game with three seconds left on the clock with a clutch fadeaway over Clay Thompson. As we all know, Kevin Durant didn't get a shot up at the end. Foul or no foul, it doesn't matter because the Warriors shouldn't have blown a 14 point lead in the first place. Anyway, after the game, I was thinking to myself, this man Kyrie is really clutch. Now yeah, I knew he was clutch before the actual game, but I was like, this guy is seriously the clutchest player in the NBA. and it shouldn't even be a question. He was clutch before the big shot in game seven. He was clutch before yesterday's game. He's been super clutch his entire career and we're going to get into that into this video. But before I do, once again, I may sound a little bit weird because I am still a little bit sick. And if you guys enjoy these type of videos, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe if you're new. And can we aim for 3000 likes? That would be amazing. Now, Kari is often looked down upon when we talk about the best point guards in the NBA. When we talk about the greatest point guards in today's NBA, we normally talk about players like Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, and occasionally Damian Lillard. Rarely do I ever hear someone say, yeah, Kyrie is the top three point guard, or Kyrie is fourth behind Curry, CP3, and Westbrook. But in my opinion, I think if you actually break it down, you could argue he is a better player than Damian Lillard, John Wall, Carl Lowry, or any other great point guard in the NBA. You could argue that soon he'll be a top three point guard in the NBA because you want to know something crazy? He's 24 years old. 24. Do you know how young that is? That is crazy. He'll only get better at such a young age. Now, I don't know about you, but I've watched a few of the Cavs games this year and almost every Cavs game I watch, I see LeBron almost saying to Kyrie, this is your team now. I'm just here to help you out. Now, I don't know why I think that. I just believe that because we know LeBron will always be there in the playoffs now, but during the regular season he sort of slacks off and doesn't try as hard as some people like to say. I believe just by watching the games, it feels like he's letting Kyrie do most of the work, which is a good thing since he's only 24 years old and is still very young. Let me know if you feel the same way, or maybe I'm just thinking that and it's just the thought I have. Now let's compare Kyrie Irving with some of the other players in the NBA that I guess are known as clutch players. Pretty much the way I break it down is, you're in a game, down by one or two points, and you need a bucket. Who do you go with? In my opinion, here are my players. I'll only choose five for this video, but obviously you can choose more. Now five is just a few, just keep in mind. I'm gonna forget some players. Well, not even forget, I'm just not gonna name some players that people may classify as clutch. But in my opinion, these are the five most clutch players. Yeah. Number one, obviously Kyrie Irving, the whole reason I'm making the video. And obviously, we're going to talk more about Kyrie. Number two, Damian Lillard. By the way, this is not in order, just saying. Number two, Damian Lillard. He's hit some clutch shots in his young career already. And yeah, just ask the Houston Rockets what they think. Number three, Kevin Durant. No matter how much you hate Kevin Durant, you have to admit that he's an amazing scorer. And he can win you a game with any move. In my opinion, he's clutch. But even if you don't think that... If there is a game on the line, you need a bucket, Durant should be in your top five list, in my opinion. Number four, Stephen Curry. Now I know, I know, I know, this one will get a lot of hate, but hear me out. I think we can agree that if there is a game on the line, you're down by two and you need a three for the win, he's a guy that you would want shooting for that shot. He's probably going to be the greatest three point shooter of all time. And he's a guy that you'd want taking your shot. In saying that, I believe in the regular season, he'll be a guy I want shooting for a game. But in playoff time, nope. I'll take Kyrie. In fact, I take Kyrie over anybody on this list. I'm just giving out my top five so I can say why Kyrie is more clutch than any of these guys. Number five, Russell Westbrook. Now, like I said, I take Kyrie over anyone on this list. And 
that includes Russell Westbrook. I'll admit, Westbrook is a hard man to stop when he attacks the ring, but at times, he also gets a little bit out of control and either turns the ball over or takes some bad shot at the end of the game. So yeah, I would take Kyrie over Russell Westbrook. Now obviously, you didn't see LeBron James or James Harden on the list. LeBron James, I didn't mention because, well, he plays on the same team as Kyrie and I don't really want to debate who's more clutch when they play on the same team. But what I will say is Kyrie may have had the signature moment in Game 7 of the NBA Finals, but in the fourth quarter as a whole, LeBron was arguably more clutch. He blocked Andre Iguodala's shot, which we all know about the block, and he played great defense and obviously great on the offensive end the entire fourth quarter. I mean, he averaged 37 points, 13-9 and nine, in last year's finals, and then he closed this year's finals with two 40-point games and a triple-double. Can't really get much better than that. Obviously, he's had times where he wasn't clutch in Miami, but as he's gotten older, he's more clutch than most players in the NBA. Okay, now I'm going to outline some stats that actually back up what I'm saying, because, yeah, I could just say that Kyrie is better than Curry, or Kyrie is better than Durant, or Kyrie is better than him and him and him and him, but not give any facts or any stats. So, obviously, I've got to back up what I'm saying. So, here are some stats, and, uh, yeah. So here's a photo that shows not only Kyrie's ability to score with a superb efficiency when it counts, but it shows all the other players that I guess are classified as clutch players. Now keep in mind, this is now an outdated post. Not outdated as in like years, but it's outdated in two weeks because this is when the post was posted on Reddit two weeks ago, which means they didn't even update Kyrie's game winner against the Warriors, but you get the point pretty much. This is within the last five seasons, and just by looking at this, you can tell it's pretty close between a few players. Obviously, Joe Johnson back in his day was clutch, and I mean really clutch, like Joe Johnson in his prime was clutch, and if you didn't watch him, I'd definitely go ahead and look at some highlights of Joe Johnson, man. He was clutch in Atlanta, Phoenix, Brooklyn. This man, Joe Johnson, was something else. Now, obviously, I'd love to see what Kobe did back further than just five years, but obviously, Kari has only played in the NBA for five years, so yeah. Also, it's good to see my boy Dwayne Wade in here. He was clutch as hell, man. Dwayne Wade in his prime, more in 06, 07, 08, though. He was clutch. Really clutch. I, I miss my boy Dwayne Wade, man. Now, this chart is literally the definition of being clutch. You've got a huge sample size as it's players who have shot 65 or more field goal attempts in the last minute of the fourth quarter or overtime and the score is within three points. That is literally as clutch as it gets. The stats don't lie, but if you need more stats, I will say this. Before LeBron returned to Cleveland, Kyrie has been clutch. In fact, ever since he came into the NBA as a rookie, he's been clutch. I'll show you the stats right now if you need more evidence, but if you're still deciding, is he actually more clutch than Durant, Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, and even players like Chris Paul, James Harden, and whoever else? Here we go. In 2012, he was the clutchest player in the NBA. Keep in mind, this is his rookie season. In 2013, he was once again the clutchest player in the NBA. In 2014, he was second behind James Harden. And you get the point, he's pretty clutch. Even when he didn't have the greatest years, like in 2015 when LeBron James came back to Cleveland and he had to learn how to play with LeBron and play with Kevin Love and play in a new system, he performed well the next year and of course in the NBA Finals where he hit one of the best shots in NBA history. I saw a post on Reddit and I was like, yeah, that defines Kyrie's Game 7 shot perfectly and it shouldn't even be a question who the clutchest player in the NBA is. He's the guy that you want the ball with, down one, game on the line. The guy on Reddit said, this is why Kyrie Irving is the clutchest player in the NBA, and this is why the Game 7 shot was more than just a shot. He said, to overcome a 3-1 deficit for the first time in NBA history, against the best record in NBA history, over the first unanimous MVP in NBA history, for the city with the longest championship drought. I don't know about you, but if that shot didn't go in, man a lot of history would be rewritten. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I want to know what you think about what I said in this video, and if I convinced any of you to why Kyrie Irving is the clutchest player in the NBA, let me know. Or if you already thought that Kyrie Irving is the clutchest player in the NBA. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos just like this, and comment some of your own ideas that you'd like me to make a video on. If you enjoyed, let's see if we can reach 3,000 likes, that would be amazing, and I'm losing my voice, 
I sound sick. I gotta get myself better, but I just love making videos for you guys. So yeah, if you guys could leave a like, that would be amazing. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace. At least I can sleep in a